Well, Spot here is usually cool, calm and collected, even though he's naughty too and he likes to be just as naughty as Stripe, but he's a bit more mellow and he's the one that probably gets beaten up by his brother more so. Stripe's usually the one to do the naughtier things first, but Spot took an opportunity while Stripe was sleeping to beat him in something. <laughs> Will you stop biting me? <laughs> the cubs are now using anything and anyone to try out their new teeth. So Giles has a plan. So this morning, we're going to see if they want to use those carnassial teeth that they've just got. Carnassial teeth are specialist molars that allow carnivores to slice meat efficiently. The fact that they've got those big chewing teeth at the back, the ones that slice the meat, is a good indication to me that they're probably at the point where they can start to uh, chew their own food. So if these guys were in the wild, Mum would definitely be taking them to where she's made a kill and probably giving it a go themselves. It's a really, really big step because if they take well to this this morning, then, you know, we can move on to other stuff. This new phase often triggers the development of another specific tiger behaviour. They might get a little bit possessive if they really get into it, if they really like it. You might see a little bit of swiping and snarling. And being more food focused than his brother. Boys. Giles wants firstborn Spot to give it a go. And you're just the one I wanted. Mmm. What's this? What is it? Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. What? Oh. Yeah. No, excuse me. It's my hand. <laughs> no. <laughs> he got possessive straight away. But he's using his teeth. He's got the idea. To the side. There we go. If I just let it go, he'd keep swallowing it. So the fact that I pull it to the side makes him use his carnassial teeth, which are the ones that are designed for chewing off chunks of flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Dearie me. Just, I'd leave him alone for a second. Turned into a tiger. No. Ah, 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 ah. Good boy. It's all gone. All gone. And it's not long till Stripe has his turn. So this is Stripe, and Stripe normally isn't as driven for his food as what Spot is anyway, but he's doing a good job. If it was the other way around, with Spot eating the piece of meat, he wouldn't tolerate Stripe jumping all over him like this. He'd be all possessive. So Spot's more driven for the food, but Stripe's giving it a go. <laughs> Just <laughs> easy. Being possessive is completely natural. If they've made a kill in the wild, then they're going to do all they can to keep it. They've spent a lot of energy making that kill. And if they don't eat, then they don't survive. So it's worth investing the energy in, in being put... <sighs> right on the inside thigh. It's worth the energy investing in trying to protect it. Spot is the more affectionate one. Stripe is the naughtier one. But when it comes to food, as you can see, this little guy's definitely much more driven, therefore it makes him a little bit more possessive. With the cubs getting stronger and feistier, their days being able to live with Giles and his family are numbered.